Father above us and all around us. Our Father above us and all around us. I can't imagine studying creation inside a classroom. You can be with God by yourself in creation, but creation shared is community. Now here on earth may your commonwealth come. We have a remarkable capacity to imitate. Now, if you just let that idea sit in, you would say, well, yeah, that's obvious. But then you start saying, where does it go? And that's what Gerard does for the rest of his life. He just takes that one idea and follows it. How does that change your spiritual practice? How does that change how you introduce spirituality to your congregation? How does that fundamentally change your understanding of Christian spirituality? The doctrine of creation in the way that we've talked about it in this week seems to have implications for every aspect of ministry, but somehow I've gone through my entire theological education without ever hearing about the doctrine of creation. I guess I wonder, does anybody else feel like he's making this point? Or do we just read him and say, well, that's an interesting perspective? You know, there's really nothing like studying the doctrine of creation as you listen to fire crackle and a loon call, and you're looking at each other in the face, but then you look up and see the wind blowing through the white pine. It was amazing. Being in the Boundary Waters has taught me that if our spirituality is ever going to be healthy and whole, it must include time in nature. Paddling on the water, hearing the sounds, having the conversations, it's the combination of these experiences that made the Doctrine of Creation more than just words on paper, but it's something that's going to change me.